What is going on guys, it is Aim Shame and we are back with not only a new video but also a new series. Today I'm going to try and start off my first episode of me winning the online world cup just by using the starter pack team which they give me. So guys, what I do here is I, I decide to go with Spain, despite them having a bad World Cup this year, you've got to put that behind them and hopefully we get some decent players in this pack. And as you guys see at first, no one really stands out there at all, we only get 37 chemistry at first, but then I decide to check the bench and look at that guys, we get Mirosov closer, the 90 rated beast, just sat there on the bench waiting to be used here. Not only that, we get Lukaku as well, who's obviously going to play alongside him. So that's two very quality strikers, especially closer there. That's going to be a really nice partnership up top there. So in total, guys, after a bit of a ranging around, we end up getting 80 chemistry here, which is obviously quite decent, because mostly in starter pack teams, you get lucky if you can get over 60 chemistry. So to end up with 80, I am so happy with. So, to make this challenge a little bit harder, I'm also going to say I'm only allowed to use the starting 11 players there. And the only times I'm allowed to change a player around is if they get injured or they have a red card. So those starting 11 there, they're going to be hopefully the players which I use for every single game. So, I move on to my first game in the group stage here. A little bit nervous here, making sure that we don't do any early mistakes. But instead guys, it turns out that we actually get an early goal here. As the ball falls to Lukaku, and he takes no prisoners there finishing that. Making it 1-0 within the first 10 minutes. So guys, after this, I was quite confident going into the rest of the game here. Thinking that, you know, I got that early advantage. All I have to do here, keep the ball, you know, keep calm. And hopefully see out the three points. And also, one thing I've been trying to do recently is keep a lot of clean sheets, because I never seem to do it, so I'm really trying hard to try and keep as many clean sheets as I can. But as you guys see here, he actually had enough of it, and he already, in the first 10 minutes, we get a rage quit here. Despite only being one goal up, he obviously realised that the partnership of Closer and Lukaku was just too strong for his team, and he decided to make an early exit. So guys, I opened the start. Well, I opened the free pack because you get one free player after each game you play. But it turns out I get no one special anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Also, it's, I'm not going to be able to use them anyway because I'm only allowed to use the starting eleven anyway. So I go for a quick check here, making sure no one's injured and no one's on a red card. And it turns out they're all looking pretty decent so far. But one thing that did that did occur to me, guys, is that one of these players, that well, most of it, well, yeah, probably all of these players, their fitness is going to get so low towards the end. So it's really going to be a struggle, especially considering I'm not allowed to use any fitness cards on them at all. So, next up guys, we come up against a better team here, biggest threat is probably going to be Mata, but apart from that guys, we, we should have a good enough team to be able to put up a strong fight here. And what I'm doing here at the moment is testing out Close's shot, because everyone tells me he's got such a good shot on him, so I'm going to do a lot of long shots with him and try to, you know, test, his, test the keeper. But as you guys see there, I could have scored the corner, but it was an absolutely embarrassing miss there, but it doesn't bother me too much, the game's still 0-0, and hopefully we've got all to play for so far. And after this, we go for the cross right to the back post, and we head that home, making it 1-0 to us. It's actually very rare that I score headers, but that's exactly what I've done there, guys. Knocking it to the back post, and we head that across the keeper, making that 1-0 to us. So, after this, you know, I was quite comfortable in this game once again, because I thought, you know, last game we were 1-0 up, and the guy ended up rage quitting. But this guy, this guy was a lot stronger, and he puts up a, a great equaliser there, guys. Fair play to him. That is a great strike. And you see quite a lot of them goals on FIFA now, especially. What people seem to do is they get in quite a tight angle, and they just shoot it across the keeper. And chances are, it's at least going to get you a corner. So, you know, guys, definitely try that tactic out. Luckily for me, despite me saying I don't usually score headers, we do score another one there from the corner making it 2-1. So I'm getting quite lucky so far and I believe Lukaku is the goal scorer for both of my goals so far. And after this, so guys, my opponent was not giving up. He uses Andy Carroll. And a bit of an embarrassing bit of keeping there means that he gets the ball straight away and he makes it 2 all. So this was now game on. 65th minute, both of us are going to be chasing for the 3 points. Because 1 point is just going to put a lot of pressure on us for the last game. But as you guys see here, on the 74th minute, we do win the ball back with Closer. And Closer there, he is an absolute brilliant player. And he proves that there. He gets around the players, spots a gap, and he finishes up to make it 3-2 to us. So, we're in a lot better position now, guys. As long as we don't concede within the next 15 minutes or so, we should get the 3 points. And we will hopefully be advanced into the next round. 
However, guys, you can never be too sure on here, and this guy was not giving up, and on the 90th minute, he goes for the cross, he heads it, but luckily for me, Steckenberg, the other keeper, has safe hands, and he clears it away, and we get the three points we need. We may not have the best goal difference so far, but we've won every game, so we're going to be very happy to walk away with six points out of six so far. So guys, that is coming towards the end of the episode right now. And so far, no one's got injured and no one's got a card yet. So I'm still going to be using the same start and 11 for the next game for our final game of the group stage. And that's going to be the biggest scare for me. Playing the last few matches, if I get to the final, then that is going to be so hard for my players considering their fitness is going to be so low. But you guys know this channel, I always like to make things a little bit harder than usual. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this new series. And apologies for being away for quite a while. But I'm now going to be back to some daily uploads and I can promise you guys that. So once again, thanks for watching. It is the end of the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy.